Hello, my name is Russell Ammons, National Wholesale Account Executive here at The Lender. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this short video. Over the years serving as both a loan originator and now as an account executive, I've heard from so many people and experienced myself the frustration of not having a simple way to track my loans, a simple way to view my pipeline, to see which stage a specific borrower is in, a way to be reminded to follow up with or check in with a borrower, and most importantly, a way to track my commissions as we move along through the month. Well, it's with that in mind that I've developed this spreadsheet. Because, yes, there's all kinds of technology out there, CRMs and some even specific to the mortgage business. However, let's face it, most of them are overly complex, take way too much time, and as a result, we tend not to use them. So let's dive into this and let me show you how this works. Starting from left to right, we'll enter the borrower's name, FICO, the lender you've placed the loan with, the program, and the type of loan. Next, I've broken the process down into each stage, starting with prospect, all the way to closed. And instead of entering a checkbox that you've moved to the next stage, I have used the actual loan amount. That way you can have a running total of each stage of the process. So as an example, let's take a look at Jane Doe. She's currently sitting at clear to close. Well, let's say she's now closed. Just right click, cut, and paste. Now Jane's closed. Next, let's take a look at the simple follow-up process that I've designed. You can enter your follow-up date, enter notes specific to why you're following up, or if there's something very important you need to always know about that file, you can enter that or any other information under the notes section. If a date is passed and you've not changed it and followed up with the borrower, it will automatically turn red. In addition, as an easy way to look out into the future at the follow-up calls that you need to make, those will automatically turn yellow for the ones that are due over the next five business days. In addition, you can easily track your commissions at the bottom here. Each one of the stages totals, and then I've applied a commission percentage. For instance, we're currently sitting at 2%. Let's say that your commission percentage is 1%. Simply backspace, enter 1, hit enter, and now you're looking at 1%. Let's apply that across the board so that the correct percentage is in each category. Just drag that handle all the way across, and as you can see, it dropped to the 1% figure now. Next, let's take a look at how you can customize this to your specific situation. First of all, we have pull downs for both the lender, the program, and the type, and they all work the same. As you pull down, you'll see the lender and several others that I've set up here. In order to change those, simply go to the drop downs tab and enter the name you desire. XYZ Lending and hit enter. Now as you come back over here to your main screen, there is what I meant to be XYZ Lending. It looks like I got an extra letter in there. But that's how you'll customize this to your specific situation. I hope you see how beneficial this can be. If you have ideas, if you have suggestions, if you have any difficulty, if for some reason you get into a situation where you may have accidentally corrupted something or messed up a formula, just reach out to me, send me an email, give me a call, and I'm happy to help you. I wish you the very, very best in 2020, and I hope to have the opportunity to work with you. You take care. Bye-bye.